doesn't seem possible, but today we're going to be burning ice. And Sarah from the Imagination Station is here. She's going to show us this isn't magic. Not magic. It's science. science yep. And how it's <laughs> going to work for us. All right, so we're going to start with safety gear today. And I brought a blowtorch. I figured you could be in charge of the blowtorch today. I could do that. All I'll right. work on the fire <laughs> aspect. Well, we have uh, Mythbusters, the explosive exhibition, right now at Imagination Station. And the good news is, is that it's being extended a little bit into April. So if you haven't had a chance oh, to see it yet, cool. there's still some time to catch it. So we're going to uh, try to bust a myth. Can we set ice on fire? Uh, instinct would say no. Exactly, because ice is made out of water. Water right. is not flammable. Makes sense. So we're going to try it and see. Now, I've got my lighter here, and I could try, but nothing's really happening. Why don't you try your blowtorch? That's Kay. got a little more force, a little more power behind it. Shall we? So let's see if we can get you to set some ice on fire. Getting it pretty good. Not, yeah. The show's only so long. I don't think we're gonna. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it by the end of the show just doing it that way. Right. And I think your first instinct to say no is absolutely correct. But we can use some science to actually kind of make that a possibility. Okay. So what we're going to use today is calcium carbide. So in this beaker, I have a little bit of water, and calcium carbide is pretty cool stuff. It actually comes in um, this like small, kind of rock-like form, and what happens is when it um, hits water, it actually starts to cause a chemical reaction, and as it's fizzing and bubbling, it's actually releasing acetylene gas, okay. and that gas is highly flammable. So we're going to use that same science to try and set some ice on fire. Okay. All right, so I'm going to give you some calcium carbide, and you can actually put that into your big goblet up there on the table. The whole thing, dump it in? Yep. So we're going to start with that, and then we need some water to start our reaction, and that water is going to come from our ice. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of ice on top of that for you. All right, kind of made a mess, but that's okay, right? That's all right. It's all in the name of science. <laughs> so um, as that water from the ice is kind of melting down and hitting those calcium carbide, you can actually maybe see a little bit of the gas starting to come off the top of our goblet. Okay. So I'm going to let you stand over here with me, and I don't want you too close to that, so we're going to use an ignition stick, so we'll let Whenever you tell me that, I'm always, <laughs> I'm always bracing for something good. Oh, yeah, yeah, it'll be good. All right, so we've got your birthday candles lit. So you can actually extend your ignition stick and you're going to put it right down by that ice. Oh, look at that. And now How we have that? burning ice. So it looks pretty cool, right? I'll take your ignition stick. That is so cool. Yeah, so we had three things to make combustion. We had flame, fuel, and oxygen. That oxygen's in the air, we use our ignition stick for a flame, and then the fuel was that gas that we created with those calcium carbide crystals. Now, it seems like our flame is kind of dancing around a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, and we get kind of us. that boom sound. Um, but that's because the gas is kind of tucked in the pockets of all of the ice cubes. Okay. So it jumps around a little bit to try and find that gas so it can stay lit. Very cool. Yeah, and this has some cool like historical science behind it too. Um, the same type of science was used to light um, headline headlamps in miner hats. Okay. So not in coal mines because that wouldn't be very safe. No. But <laughs> um, for like tin and silver and copper, they would use a headlamp that had calcium carbide in it. How about that? Yeah. You want to do it again? Sure. Okay. Love to. So I'm going to give you some more calcium carbide, and we're going to put this in here. We'll move this one kind of to the center. Okay. So you can go ahead and dump that in again. We're going to add some more ice, because remember, that's where we get that little bit of water that we need. And actually, this one, almost instantly, we can see that acetylene gas being released. And uh, I will give you the ignition stick. I'm going to stand over here with you. Okay in the safety zone, and you can go ahead and light that one as well. We ready? Yep, go for it. There we go. Whew. And you hear that boom, that's calcium carbide is sometimes used in cannons, so you get that same kind of boom effect from it. Um, but that will burn until we use up all of that gas, which is kind of cool. And um, acetylene gas used to be used for ripening fruit, but it wasn't very safe, so they switched to ethylene gas. So it has kind of all of these weird you said. You're dropping a lot of science <laughs> and a lot of history on me, and I kind of like it. And if you want more of this, too, Imagination Station yeah, is the place definitely. to find it all. You've done it. You've blown, you've blown our cool? minds here. You've lit ice on fire. Right. Sarah, appreciate so, that so much. Pretty cool experiment. Very cool experiment. Don't go anywhere. We've got much more WT11 here today coming up right after this.